Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Inspired Art. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to work on a 12 by 24 inch canvas today. It's my usual gallery wrap level three um, artist loft canvas. And also continuing with the same base interior paint. This is PPG that I purchase at Home Depot. For those of you that are new to my channel, that is my base paint that I use for my D Dutch pours. I also use a Walmart brand called Color Place, but Walmart has been out of stock for so long that I'm not even going there anymore for that paint. But if you guys have it in your local areas, um, a local Walmart, then I would also recommend that as a an interior house paint that's reasonably priced and it works beautiful straight out of the can. Um, I very rarely had to thin out this paint with any water whatsoever. Only at the bottom of the can when you're nearing the end I may have to thin it out just a little bit, but I want to caution very little, little bit of water to thin it out. You just add it very gradually and stir until you find that consistency of kind of like a warm honey type fluidity of the paint. And I'll show you this. See how it just kind of melts in? And even this, I mean, I could thin this out a little bit more because I am getting near the end, but it's still working for me. I'm not finding it clumping or being lumpy as I'm spreading it out. And as it's drying, it's drying smooth and even. So that's the consistency that I have been working with and it works with my style of um, fluid painting. So, now that I've shared that, I want to now share my same palette, my color palette that I just did with a very little um, pour. It was just a little eight by 10. I am actually going to do it in a larger version on this 12 by 24. So the color palette went as follows. It's the Liquitex Black, the Liquitex Silver, a Pebeo Blue Black, I'm almost empty, a, this is the Pebeo Iridescent Blue, and an Arteza Pearl Light Blue. Those are the same colors that I used on my small eight by 10 inch canvas that I just did and it's drying right now. So I wanna do the same thing so that they have um, a little bit of a comparison. And if someone were to purchase it, they could purchase like the set um, to have it in adjacent walls or side by side to complement each other. All right, so let's get this started. I'm going to flood my canvas, flood the sides, make sure they're covered really well. I will pop my bubbles as much as I can see visibly, and then we'll come back and we'll design something really pretty with this color palette on the canvas. So stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I went and flooded my canvas and my sides. I am going to give a little bit of a swipe down on my sides with my finger right now instead of waiting because I want to keep my composition 
on mostly on the surface of the canvas not on the sides for this particular design I really would like to keep it so I'm gonna do my best and help it with that so by swiping the sides with your with a tool or your finger you can use your finger this helps that your design does not run over the sides so you want to do this probably two three four times so there we go i had to walk around my table um i saw a bubble over here so i want to get that as well just a little bubble there there's a couple. These seem to just surface. There's a couple bubbles. Hmm. All right. I think we're about ready to go with this design. It's looking good. Yeah, you want to make sure, I always say this in my video, but you definitely want to make sure that you get your little bubbles that are surfacing because if you don't, you will have little pinholes in your paint. I think I got them for now. They look good. All right. Now we're going to lay out a pretty design. And uh, I think with these colors for sure, which I know they look good together because I just did that little itty bitty canvas. It's just a little eight by 10 that I did and the color combination just looks fantastic. So I am gonna do the similar thing here. And, oh, I just, Got a little piece. Let it go and get that down. Okay, that's okay. When that happens, you just get your tweezers and pick it out. All right, so for this design, I'm going to kind of make it simple and blow it out kind of simply, I think. like that and I'm going to make the center kind of about right here to bring it down like this and then Another one like that. I'm going to bring this one up a little bit further out that way. Yeah, I think that might work. Oh, 
Something like that. <laughs> and I had no idea that it would look like this. <laughs> so we'll see what it looks like later. Okay, kind of looks like a palm tree. <laughs> Didn't plan on it, but it does. We'll go in with the iridescent blue. And then we go in with this light, light pearl blue. I'm going to just zigzag it there. By the time it all blows together, it just makes its own pattern anyway. So as long as I like the composition, I can really make it blow out okay. So let's get this started. All right, time to have some more fun, guys. So here we go. I'm going to start kind of up, up this way for today.
those colors look really pretty together. Um, the design right now is, it's got good composition, but I'm, I need to make it a little bit uh, more pleasing to the eye for sure. Um, because it's, it's just not something that I would just leave like this. So I've got to manipulate it for sure with my signature style. And I think for, I'm going for the focal point, I'm thinking maybe right in here for my focal point. Yeah, probably right in this area right here. So yeah, stay tuned guys. So with my focal point, I'll start. Right about there. I can't make this work. Sometimes when I blow it out, I'm not too happy with how it looks initially when it's blown out in like when it looks like this. Um, but sometimes I do like it. This is one of those times that I think if I were to leave it like this, I don't think I would like it. So I definitely hope that I can improve it. I like the colors for sure. It's the design I want to improve. The colors, um, some of that, I think it's the blue black that mixed in with the other colors. It's almost having um, a light, like a, a purple hint to it. It's pretty cool looking. I will show you at the end when I'm finishing with this manipulation. might put you on fast forward for a piece of this so the video is not as long and you can see it quickly come to life. I think it is gonna work. Just needs for me to do a little work to make it happen. That one right there didn't quite go right. There we go. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to put you on fast forward for some of this so I can get um, this completed. Hey guys, I'm back. I finished my signature style on this really pretty piece. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, she did take me a little bit longer, but I think she came out really pretty. She did go over the edges a little bit, but that's okay. I actually, when I saw some of the edges going over, I just went ahead and blew some of them over just so the composition would look a little bit better. So I did allow it to happen but she's pretty the colors are stunning together i knew that they would look good together so that was not the question but the composition i think really turned out quite pretty as well what do you guys think let me know let me know if you like this one and um of course, check me out on my social media my and my website, www.tinasinspiredart.com. Thank you all for joining me. Love you. Bye for now.